Hello everyone, this is Anuj from Gadget Gag. So finally, MIUI 9 is available as global beta for some selected Xiaomi devices. And today, we will show you how to install it on your phone and also some new features of the MIUI 9. So let's start. Do not forget to press the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get the notification from Gadget Gig and stay updated and informed. MIUI 9 is based on Android Nougat and Xiaomi says it's lightning fast as compared to the other version. So let's find out if it's worth upgrading to beta ROM or not. First of all, make sure you have the backup of your phone. If you don't know how to do it, check the details in the description below. So as you can see, I'm on the Redmi Note 4 and on the stable MIUI 8. And in order to update, you need an internet connection, data cable and a PC. Alternatively, you can also try downloading the update file directly on your phone. I have the link to the download section in the description below. Once you download the file, transfer the zip file to your phone. Now to update, go to the update app and click the three dots on the top right. And here, select choose update package and select the file which we have downloaded earlier. Now it will start the process. Once the decrypting is complete, it will ask you to erase and update. So make sure you have the backup of your device and don't forget to backup the photos manually. And transfer it to PC or an OTG pen drive. In case you are stuck on the error message, could not verify or it's not allowed to upgrade to an official ROM package. So don't worry, I face the same issue as I cancel on the update and erase earlier to backup my device. So in order to apply the update, you need to factory reset your device and skip all the initial setup screen after the reset. And then, when you're on the home screen, try the same method again and this time, do not click on cancel but choose erase and update. After that, it will take approximately 5-10 to 10 minutes and then you'll be on the MIUI 9. Now set up the device and once complete, paste the backup file again to your phone and restore your device. See the details of how to restore in the description below. So let's see what are the new things we have on the MIUI 9. Xiaomi says that the MIUI 9 is blazing fast and after using it for some time, I can say it's definitely faster than the MIUI 8. But there are some lags here and there for which I cannot complain as it's not the stable update. The first thing you will see is the animation on the icons. So when you open and close an app, you have different animation as well as the animation on the icons. Which in my opinion looks really good. By default, you have the two theme option, default and the limitless. But in the limitless theme, you won't get the icon animations. Let's go to the settings and see the version. So we are on the MIUI 9 Global 7.8.10 Beta. And the Android version is the 7.0 Nougat. Arranging icons are very easy in the MIUI 9 and you have to do the pin gesture on the screen and then select the icon you want to move. You need to press and hold on the icon after selecting and then move it to a different page or a new page. You also have the new widgets available and in the settings you can lock screen and option to see transition which are actually the same as the previous version. Now if you swipe to the left on the lock screen, you have the option to open Mi Remote and Mi Home. And there is also a torch icon at the bottom which will turn on the torch. But I don't know why it's there as we already have the long press home button torch available. With the Android Nougat 7, we do get the split screen mode in the MIUI 9. All you need to do is open the multitask window and click on the split screen mode on the top. And then drag the app you want to use in split screen. It will also show you the apps which are not compatible with this split screen. And if you press the home button from the split screen mode, you can continue using the phone and to return, you need to click on the top bar to go back to multi-window mode. One thing this MIUI 9 update is missing is the assistant, which was available in the Chinese ROM. Let's hope that Xiaomi include that in the stable version of the MIUI 9. One more feature of the Android 7 is available that is the quick switch. With this, you can quickly switch between your two recently opened apps. And lastly, we have the silent mode toggle, 
So when you press the volume up and down key, you have the silent option on the top. You can silent the phone for up to 8 hours or choose the DND mode. So overall, I find the MIUI 9 performance pretty fast and we will test it more and let you know more about the performance, battery backup and the issues in our upcoming videos. And also, let us know things you like most or dislike if you have the MIUI 9 update on your phone. And if you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel Gadget Geek for more videos like this. Once again, this is Anuj signing off and I'll see you in the next one.